Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Tamima Islam with the top news of the day. Bangladesh today confirmed 10 more deaths from the novel coronavirus and 390 new cases of infection after testing 3,096 samples in the last 24 hours. With this, the death toll from the deadly virus rises to 120 and the number of total infected person stands at 3,772. Additional Director General of Health Directorate Nasima Sultana revealed this in a virtual briefing. She said the sample testing has increased by 0.1% compared to the previous day. Till date, 92 infected patients have recovered from the virus, including five new patients in the last 24-hour period. As the number of coronavirus cases in the country is growing, the government on Wednesday decided to extend the general holidays until May 5th, aiming to prevent the spread of the deadly virus. The Public Administration Ministry is likely to issue a notification in this regard today. The number of people infected and dead due to COVID-19 is increasing worldwide as the deadly virus has spread to 210 countries and territories around the world and two international conveyances. But the worst scenario has been seen in the United States. Over 45,000 coronavirus infected patients have died in the country. However, Donald Trump said he would suspend immigration into the U.S. for at least 60 days in a move aimed at helping Americans who had become unemployed in the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, the scenario in Italy, Spain and Germany has slightly developed, though the death toll has started increasing in Belgium, Brazil and Turkey. The deadly novel coronavirus has already taken away over 1,7 78,000 lives globally. The numbers of the infected people through this virus are over 2.5 million. The Health Secretary of United Kingdom said that a coronavirus vaccine being developed by Oxford University will enter human trials as early as this Thursday. Meanwhile, the UK government will provide £20 million to the university's team and a further £22.5 million to Imperial College, where scientists are also working on a vaccine. Scientists at Oxford have previously said that the aim is to produce a million doses of the vaccine by September. On the other hand, the first COVID-19 patient who was administered plasma therapy at Max Hospital, Saket in Delhi, has shown positive results with marked improvement in his health condition and has recently weaned off the ventilator support. The hospital authorities said that this was the first time that the plasma therapy was used for the disease in India. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.